This classic Shira is a Diwali delicacy. Hi, you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. Moist, delicious, and loaded with dry fruits, this Shira comes together in a snap. So let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to be using a total of half a cup of pure ghee. And to start, let's add one tablespoon of the ghee to a heated pan. Now that the ghee is melted, let's add in two tablespoons of chopped almonds, two tablespoons of chopped cashew nuts, and two tablespoons of pistachios. Let's roast these for about three to four minutes, and when they just about begin to change color, let's add in two tablespoons of raisins. Now we're going to roast all the dry fruits just for a minute more before we take it off the heat and empty it onto a plate. To the same pan, we're going to add another two tablespoons of the pure ghee. And once the ghee has melted, let's add one cup of coarse semolina. Now we're going to roast the semolina for about seven to eight minutes. And once the semolina becomes aromatic and absorbs all the flavor of the ghee and changes color, we're going to take it off the heat and empty it into a bowl. In another pot, let's add two and a half cups of water and bring it to a boil. Now, let's add the roasted semolina to the water. We're gonna give it a stir and make sure that the semolina begins to absorb the water. Let's cover the pot with a lid for about two minutes and allow the semolina to absorb all the water and fluff up nicely. To sweeten it up, we're going to add one and a half cup of sugar. As you stir it up, you will find that the sugar will begin to melt and the consistency will become thinner. Now let's add in the remaining pyogi and give it a mix. Now let's add a pinch of salt and for that traditional flavor we are adding half a teaspoon of freshly crushed cardamom and quarter teaspoon of saffron strands which I have soaked in one tablespoon of warm milk. Now let's give it a good stir and make sure that the semolina absorbs all the delicious flavors. Once the mixture begins to leave the base of the pot, let's add in the roasted dried fruits. Now let's take it off the heat and give it a mix so that the dry fruits gets well distributed in the shira. You could simply serve the shira in a bowl, but I prefer filling the bowl and toppling it on a plate. Now look at that. Let's dig into it. Shira is one of my favorite sweet treats and I cannot wait to give this a taste. I'm gonna dig into this now. Wow. Mmm. Hey guys, I'm sure you've enjoyed watching this video. And if you've not subscribed already, subscribe and hit on that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, smash on that like button and leave me your comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.